So um, first on data models, we will look at um, the transactional databases called OLTP here or and analytics databases. If you have to choose between which is your kind of um, database for the use cases you have in mind, um, th this is uh, slightly um, direct. Uh, this is this is a um, table that you can probably uh, use to decide that. If your uh, if your use case uh, mainly has uh, read patterns, uh, then then you probably um, for smaller number of records per query uh, fetched by uh, your uh, primary key or other key that is indexed, you could use a transactional database like a MySQL or a Postgres or an Oracle. If you are looking for aggregate over large number of records, if you're trying to maybe let's say uh, set up a visualization uh, where you sort of um, so a graph of an aggregate over a column, then uh, you probably need an analytics database and OLAP system. If your main write pattern is um, random access, uh, low latency writes from user input, uh, then, then you are looking to get through an index like a B3 or something and get to the exact record and get that out. For that, transactional systems are uh, really good, the relational databases. If you, by nature, your writes are uh, bulk import or event streams, then you're looking for OLAP databases. Uh, transactional databases are typically used by um, end user um, or a customer via a web application. Uh, trans uh, analytics databases are typically used by internal analysts for their uh, decision making. In your transactional database, you're looking for a state of data at this instant of time, while in analytics databases, you have historical data uh, with some of the latest real-time data. Well, not real-time, maybe near real-time. Um, also on the data size, if you have gigabytes, uh, gigabytes to terabytes of data, maybe transactional systems, uh, conventional relational databases uh, will do well. But if you have terabytes to petabytes, uh, petabytes scale of data, then uh, running um, analytic systems would probably uh, benefit from the sort of modern architectures on distributed systems uh, developed over the last decade.